hi guys welcome back to the channel i know it's been a long time since i uploaded a long form video like this but i just want to say thank you guys so much on all the love on the shorts and you guys we finally hit a thousand subscriber we're not monetized yet because i still need those watch hours but we're not that far from monet being monetized so i just want to say thank you guys so so much my goal this year was to hit a thousand subscribers and to be monetized so i know we're going to do that i just want to say thank you guys so so much i didn't even think we're going to hit a thousand right now i thought we were going to hit a thousand towards the end of the year but i just want to say thank you guys so much for enjoying my content and thank you so much for the love the excess love on the shorts i have few of my shorts that have over 10,000 views so i just want to say thank you guys so much so i just um want to record this video coming back with some like life update a lot cheap chat so let's first let's address the elephant in the room i dyed my hair black i went back to black let me show you guys a view of what my hair is looking like and y'all my hair has grown so much i'll post a picture of when I washed my hair a couple days ago, what my hair looked like. My hair has grown so, so much. By the way, I look dressed up because I just came from church. I'm recording this video on a Sunday. I like to record a video when I look a little put together. So that's why. Um, and during the week, I am super busy, yo. I'm super busy with work. And a lot of you guys know I'm a mom, so I'm a wife. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot going on during the week. So I like to record on Sundays. Cause it's easier i look put together and on sundays you know i, I try to look nice going to church have reverence for the house of god so yes yeah, so, but i just wanted to come on here we have a couple um updates one reason why i went back to black is because the weather started getting cold i'm in new jersey for you guys that don't know like in the afternoon it's warm but in the morning i go to the first service at church so i dress up a lot when i go to church i like to look nice when i go to church and towards the cold weather i like to wear more dark colors and dark colors with bright hair it just wasn't doing it for me so i was like you know what towards the winter fall season i'm gonna dye my hair black and in the summertime i can have fun with the colors so that's why i'm back to black because it started getting um cold here and i started wearing more uh darker colors so that's why i dyed my hair again um what's one thing that i've changed of course my hair has grown so much i mentioned that again um i have not had a retwist in three months so i do have an appointment with my lactician to get my hair done yet yeah, i can't believe this is the longest i've worn without a retwist three months you guys let me put my hair down so you guys can see what i'm working with i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen what i'm working with already through my um shorts but this is what my hair looks like without a retwist for three months and as you guys know in my last video i was experiencing some some thinning in the back of my hair and now of course you can't even notice it anymore and i am still taking neutral four it's right here <laughs> i'm still taking neutral four and uh, my hair has grown so much my hair has grown so much um i take neutral four i take other vitamins that also help towards the growth of my hair since my since i was experiencing thinning in the back of my hair some of my hair was also looking thinner than it, they were looking but now i'm getting the thickness back with my hair i'm getting the thickness with my hair and y'all i love 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 my hair again when i was experiencing the thinning it was like it just wasn't given for me and i was a little sad about it but then i found out i was vitamin d deficient and of course so that's why i started taking nutrifor i'm taking vitamin d i'm taking other supplements as well so that's a little quick life update yeah so that's a quick life update for you guys a quick life slash lock update for you guys and yes i hit two years locked and we are in september now today's september 3rd but my two-year anniversary was august so it's not that long ago so i did hit two years i'll post a picture here of what my hair looked like when i put in the two strength twist and what my hair looks like now when it's freshly like washed and stretched right now i'm it doesn't look as long as it actually is it doesn't really look as long as it actually is so but um i'll post a picture of what it looks like actually when it's stretched out and I've got some length going on, y'all. And I wanted to say for the first time, like my hair is at a length where I can finally do a lot more styles than I used to. 
Um, yesterday I went to church. We had a church program and I had my hair like, I had all of it up and a little like bang thingy going on. I never was able to have all my hair up. You know, I used to do the half up, half down because my hair wasn't long enough to hold all of it up. So now I'm, I can do that. So I want to say, you know, I'm really, really um, proud of the, I'm really proud of how far I've come and how much growth I've gained with my life journey. And every time, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, just like we all do, every couple months, I be having the urge to comb my locks out because I'm like, I wanna see how real, how long my hair has gotten, but I'm just thinking it through, yo. I'm just thinking it through. For my hair to even get to like right here, right? And for it to get like even right here, this is the longest my hair has ever gotten, even when it was loose natural. So like, I'm like, I'm just gonna stick it through. I wanna see what the next two, three years gonna look like. I wanna see what my hair like looks like when I'm five year locked, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm just sticking it through. So I just want you guys to know, if you're watching this, you're just starting with the lock journey, it ain't gonna be easy, okay? One thing is you're gonna be looking bullheaded for a lot, for a long time. <laughs> I talk about this all the time. You just gotta be patient when you have locks. Uh, one thing I did that I'm so proud that I did is be patient and not comb my hair out because I had those those moments a lot. And I will be honest with y'all, if you don't feel confident, if you gotta wear wigs, wear wigs. My first year of my journey, I wore a lot of wigs when I was going out to events um, because I wasn't comfortable. I did a lot of head wraps as well. So if you got to do what you got to do, do what you got to do. Those locks are on your head. Nobody can tell you what you can do with your hair. So that's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for sticking it with me. And I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.